As Raleigh police continue investigating a sexual assault near NC State's campus, universities in the area are offering resources they hope can better protect their students. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb explains what's available. A brazen sexual assault just off of NC State's campus, sending shockwaves through the campus. There have been assaults on campus, like any other campus, but you don't expect to see a kidnapping. Raleigh police say a woman was forced into a car on Hillsborough Street, driven to another location and sexually assaulted Monday afternoon. It's the third time so far this semester a sexual assault has been reported on or near NC State's campus. It's not healthy for people to feel like they're constantly having to watch their back. And that's kind of what it's causing. Um, a lot of distrust has kind of erupted out of it. Following this concerning incident, NC State University Police is reminding students there are a number of free resources that they offer to help students if they find themselves in difficult situations. Resources include real world safety and pepper spray training. Women on campus can also participate in rape aggression defense, a three day program to help students get out of a harmful circumstance. I think it's great that state is providing this opportunity for students and I hope that students will utilize it. North Carolina Central is also offering the program. We want to give our students, especially our female students, every resource that we can to ensure that if they're put in a situation where they need to defend themselves, that they have the capability to do so. As university law enforcement officials remind students to always be vigilant. Do not walk at night looking at your iPhone with your AirPods in your ears. Be aware of your surroundings, know where your exit points are, know where your blue light phones are. Anyone with information about Monday's incident is asked to call Crime Stopper. Sin Raleigh, Harrison Grubb, CBS 17 News. All right, Harrison, thank you. And you can find out more about those options by visiting our website, cbs17.com.